What's up everyone, it's Matt Mrozik, and this will be a uh, review of a Thor statue that I got the other day. I meant to record this the other day, but I've been uh, kind of busy. So I'm uh, finally getting a chance to review a couple kits that were sent to me by uh, Hing Hilger. Uh, I believe he's out of Germany. Correct me if I'm wrong, Hing. <laughs> anyway, he sent me a couple kits of his to review and uh, tell my thoughts on them. So the first one I'm going to do is this Thor statue. And I actually saw this... Um, Kit uh, pop up on my feed a uh, little while ago, and it's a cool sculpt. This is a classic Thor-looking sculpt, and it's after he saw my quarter scale, quarter scale, uh, quarter scale Thor paint up, he asked me if I would review a kit for him. I said, "Yeah, sure." Um, so he sent me one, and uh, the first thing you get is a parts checklist. Um, I got all my parts, and basically this kit is limited to 49, and I think I'm not sure. I have to look at the bottom, but. Uh, you get uh, one of 49 kits, and it's, it's random numbers. It's not like you, you shift them out in order, one through whatever. So I forget what number I have. I'll have to look at it. 22 pieces. Um, I would say the scale is roughly one six. You know, I don't know uh, an exact height. And uh, But let's look at the parts. So the first one on the list is the helmet. I have everything in the box down here. I've already looked at everything, and for the most part, it's really good. I have a few comments, but uh, nothing really bad. Oh, and... Uh, the price of this kit is, I have notes over here, the kit is $145 and the shipping is $40. So $185 altogether for this kit. And uh, for my initial view, I think that's a good price for what you get. Um, you get a lot of resin and it's a cool sculpt. So the first piece we see here is the helmet. And it's interesting, it's, it's molded in like three different blues of resin. <laughs> so you get the helmet here. Uh, it's casted pretty well. It's a little bit of cleanup as far as like um, some resin sludge in the gate, but nothing unexpected from a, a garage kit so there's the helmet next one next one is the helmet wings and these are actually sculpted really really nice and these were by the way the packing on this kit was excellent um i unpacked it as soon as i got it but everything was packed extremely well bubble wrap these were actually were in a little film canister for all of you uh youngins who don't know what film is it's what we used to shoot pictures with and it came in things like this called the film canister uh, here are the little wings that go on each side of the helmet, and these are casted beautifully. Um, there's really no cleanup, um, a little bit of a seam line, but nothing, nothing major. And they'll peg right into here. Um, the one thing I noticed on this kit is that those, uh, a lot of the, like the pegs and stuff, will need some cleanup in order things to fit. But um, that's nothing, again, to be unexpected from a garage kit. So nice two wings that go on the helmet, and then we have the head. Now, my one really of this kit is the engineering it's interesting how this goes together <laughs> um, so here's the head and you'll notice it has part of the hair and part of the cape attached to it and I'll explain that to you uh, as we get further along but this face sculpt really nice it's a, it's a classic Thor um, look um, good you know it's got this interesting color of resin I played with it a little bit it's you know it sands easily um, these all peg into the rest of the cape you got a gate right here you got to you got to clean up a little bit of seam line here, but not bad. Next one on the list is Strand of Hair, which is going to be in a little baggie somewhere down here. Oh, here it is. This little strand of hair, which goes in later. It's right there. Again, nicely sculpted. Casting's done pretty well. We'll get to those later. Those are down the list. Uh, let's see, then we have uh, the cape pin, two cape pins, and these are the ones that go, will go over his shoulders. Um, with the... Sorry about that, my phone stopped. Uh, I need to find a different way to record videos because my phone is uh, not working a lot of the times. So anyway, uh, I was talking about the these two pieces for the cape. One's got a piece of hair and one's got a, a without a piece of hair. And this is kind of where the engineering comes into play. It's like, why is this casted together? Um, I'm not sure who cut the sculpture apart to uh, cast it, but it's an interesting choice how that works. Uh, next one is the cape, which is a nice big piece right here. One solid piece, a little bit of cleanup on the edges here. And he does say this is for a skill level three. So he's not uh, saying that this kit is gonna go together without work. So. Um, but it's it's pretty good quality. I mean, the uh, resin seems nice. The casting is sharp. It's like any other garage kit. There's you know seam lines and gates you got to take care of. And this is another question of the engineering that comes into play is how this goes together 
uh, with the head and everything right there. So we'll get, I'll try dry fit this a little bit. I can't do a whole lot of dry fitting because I haven't cleaned anything up yet, but we'll, I'll kind of show how it goes together. Um, and then the body, which is one big solid piece right here. Um, this is color number two. Um, for the most part, this casting is good. There's a decent step right here that'll have to be taken care of, um, which isn't that big of a deal, honestly, because this piece doesn't have a ton of detail. It's pretty simple. Like I said, it's a classic Thor, so there's not a ton of intricate detail. So I'm not really too worried about that, that step there. Normally it would be if there was a lot of intricate detail because that would all have to get sanded out and re-sculpted. But with it being as simple as it is, I'm not too concerned about it, but it is there. Um, so that's not a, a seam line. That's a, a little bit of a step where the mold slipped or something. Um, actually, you can, you can tell exactly how it slipped, uh, slipped because... It, the step on this side goes one way and it's the same way in this way so the whole you can tell that the whole molds kind of slipped like this way a little bit uh, during casting but again it's not that that big of a deal on this one because it's a pretty simple uh, sculpt um, arm here it is again I like the I like the detail I like this uh, kind of cloth utility put into uh, to the fabric and stuff a little bit of cleanup in, in here in the fingernails. We gotta get in there with you know a little uh, chisel and dig some of that resin and sludge out. But uh, a seam line or a mold line to deal with there. Pretty good sized gate right here that I have to take care of to um, to put it on. So that's why I can't do a lot of dry fitting. But you know a little bit of Dremel and I'll we'll take it off in a couple seconds. And then you get an arm with part of the hammer right there. It's only the first bubble I've seen is right there in the hammer. Bubbles are no big deal. Uh, again, looks pretty good. A little bit of cleanup. Shirt, back, shirt, front. Or skirt, sorry, skirt, front and back. So here's the front and the back of the side of the skirt. Those look really nice. Again, I tried to try to fit this a little bit earlier, but without doing any cleanup, I can't fit a whole lot of it together right now. Um, we got the two boots. One has got a rock and one doesn't have a rock. Right there. Again, a little bit of step in the boot here. But it's interesting there's not there's not it's not as drastic towards the top just towards the bottom here but again it's pretty simple so that'll sand out easily uh this is casted pretty well right here just the mold line to deal with and then we have uh the little discs that go on the side of the boots right here we got four of them and then you got uh the hammer head of the hammer right here which looks really nice it's got the nice inscription there and then a simple base right here and i've got number kit number nine 49. so let me show, kind of show you how this goes together a little bit again i'm able to put a whole lot together because I, I haven't done any cleanup yet but i can kind of give you the idea of how it goes together so and i'll, I'll, I'll put a link to uh to uh hangs up uh, Facebook page and I believe uh, he's painted one of these up already um, I'll try to find pictures of that and post it so you can get an idea of what he looks like when he's done like I said it's a cool it's a cool uh, statue I like the the um, the sculpt of it it's, it's a classic Thor uh, look it's not like the one I just did where it's a little more uh, like modernized so basically his pose is he's got this foot up on the rock like this and one down on the ground those I can kind of fit together pretty easily just like that those fit those actually fit really well just like that okay let's get more some more light on them here we go and so I'm, what i'm using so you see how that goes together i'm going to take those off and the little discs go on the side of the boot pretty self-explanatory so i'm going to take this off and put it to the side because i won't oh and there's also the um the uh the the wristband that goes on the hammer it's in there too uh then the the cape the way the cape works or not the cape the kind of his clothing this will peg into here, and I have a feeling once I clean this up, it'll fit in there really, really nice. I may have to take a little heat to it to uh, bend it, but that's nothing I'm not used to. But it looks like it wants to go in there pretty well, but that's really nice. And then the back piece will peg into here. And again, same thing here. I think once I clean up this edge and get in there with a little bit of a hair dryer, like it wants to go in there, but again, I haven't cleaned up this edge. I think it'll go in there pretty smoothly. So those go in there that way. Uh, let's see this arm right here with his hammer and he's got it up in the air and again I haven't cleaned up so I won't be able to put it in there uh, too well let's see it goes up like this does it go in there 
Oh no, it goes like this, I think. How's this going there? Nope, sorry, it goes down. <laughs> it comes down like this. I go in the completely wrong way. Uh, again, once I clean that peg up, it's gonna want to. It'll go in there really nicely. But I haven't cleaned any of the, the gates up. But once that's cleaned up, I think it'll fit really nicely. And his other arm, that's why I was confused. His other arm is kind of pointing. So that one goes like that. And this one goes like, okay, like that. Okay, sorry. For some reason, I thought one arm went up for some reason, but they don't. Anyway, it's like this. And again, the skate's not cleaned up on the, the camera right or to his left arm, so it won't go in. But I think once it's cleaned up, it'll go in there. So just like that. And then the hammer goes on the thing pretty. Now, this, this is where I question the engineering. Uh, so in order to put this guy together, you have to paint the body first. Then you have to paint the head in this part and then put that together, okay? Once you have that all fitted, you know, and smoothed out, and this actually fits pretty good. Again, I need a little more, I need a little cleanup in there. It's not sitting in there all, quite all the way. Once you get that done, all right, take that back. You paint the body all the way, get all done painted. Then you attach the cape, the back, this big part of the cape right there, okay? And you paint this part of the cape too, paint the inside of it at least. You can paint the outside and then fix it later. So once you get that on, then you put the head on. And that pegs into the back of the cape right there and into the neck. So again, I haven't done any cleanup, so I'm not going to be able to get it together. But so you paint the body, paint the big part of the cape, put the cape on. Paint the head, paint this part of the cape. Sorry. This is hard to do. <laughs> and then you put this part on. Ah, I don't want to drop it. Anyway, I think you get the idea. Put put the big part of the cape on after it's been painted. Paint the head, this part of the cape, put it on. And then you blend, do your party work and blend it there. Um, you'll have to do some blending underneath too because you'll see that, okay? Once you get all that done, so step one, big cape on the back. Step two, head with part of the cape. We're going to pretend that this big cape's already been attached. Put that to the side. Once you're done with that, then you have to take this and do the rest of the cape. So you have this piece of the cape has got some hair in it, which will peg in here into this part of the cape. And actually, it works pretty good. It's just what you have to do is you have to do some painting and then fixing and painting like back and forth. To get everything to blend, but I mean, I like the, I like the sculpt. I like the statue. This is my only. It's really my only. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's a negative crit. It's just a crit. Just the engineering of this whole head and cape kind of thing. I'm not sure how else you could have bro broken it up. Um, I think um, most casters probably would have. Um, they probably wouldn't have put a peg right here. They probably could have casted this cape. Maybe you know it's easier to break it up. But I think what most casters would have done is they would have cut along the hair and made the cape, at least that part of the cape, one solid piece. And then that way you don't have to worry about it all lining up right here. And then maybe you just have these two pieces to deal with. So that's really my only, I don't even say, like, I'll say it's my only negative crit, is the engineering of the head and the neck. Um, but overall it's a nice kit. I like it. I think for 185 shipped, I think it's a good deal. Um, it's a nice size that once it's, once it's done, you know, it's about a foot tall and you know, even though there's a, a few little steps here and there, the sculpt is simple enough that it's really nothing to worry about as far as like having to take care of it and lose a lot of detail because, uh, like I said, it's a simple classic Thor sculpt and, um, yeah, it's not nothing. I'm nothing I'm really concerned about. I usually really, really hate steps because that means you have to sand them flat and then re-sculpt. But again, there's this detail is really simple. So um, you may have to kind of go into this um, area of the leg and fix that again. And every casting is different. Uh, the other castings may not have that. So I don't know. But anyway, as far as like on a, on a 1 to 10 being 10, like a perfect kit, uh, I would say the, the sculpt is like a 9. I like the sculpt. I would say the casting is uh, 7.5 to an 8. And the engineering is probably a 7 just because of 
the neck and the head area is really kind of wonky the way you have to kind of paint put it together blend it and paint again um, because once that cape is on and everything there's no way you'll be able to get in there and paint underneath it and paint this part of the, the body you have to paint the torso paint that big part of the cape pin and glue that part of the cape on then put the put the head on you know blend the you know do your putty work on the cape and then put the other parts of the cape on do your putty, par, bar, putty work on those parts of the cape and then you know finish painting out the cape i guess you could hold off on painting the head till after it's in there i would probably paint it before because you have to kind of get down in here and masking that would be a, a challenge but um yeah that's my only kind of like yeah that could that could have used some work as that engineering part but other than that it's a nice kit you know i suggest getting it if you like thor it's a cool cool sculpt and again i'll send i'll put a link down below in the video to uh how to contact them and how to order one if you're interested but again as always thanks for watching it's matt morozik we'll catch you guys next time bye